Hello and welcome developers, my name is Shay and this is another episode of Shay Develops. In this episode, we're going to continue off a little bit from the previous episode. We were talking about the uh, creating dates and date times and messing around with those. We're going to dig in a little more with that and show you a way to, uh, another way to format the dates and times using the date time formatter and then how you can, different ways to convert a, uh, a date to a string that you might not have thought of. If you're trying to do that and you're getting the error saying, hey, this can't have a string, It's uh, this is a date or whatever. I know some people, definitely easy to run into that. All right, so in order to get started, we're just gonna uh, go ahead and create us a local date time. Like I said, we talked about that in the last episode. Local date time, I'm just gonna call it local equals local date time dot now. So we're getting the current date and time where it is where I live right now in Hawaii. And let's do something like uh, we want to get the, well, let's just output it, right? Let's just output uh, normal. I was thinking of a better word, but normal will work. This unmodified. All right, so we'll output just the uh, local date and time as it is but let's first let's go ahead and try and do some things like get the day of the week or get the year or something like that we can do that pretty simply let's say let's we want to get the day of the week we could do local dot get day of week month year get hour get the minute get the month uh, and get the second get the nanosecond like that's pretty gets in depth pretty uh, pretty fast but we can't just call it just local dot uh, you know get uh, get day of the month or something like that we have to specify so say we want to get the day of the week we'll do day of week which is a uh, Java API that we're allowed to use it talks about days of the week we'll just call it day equals and we'll do local dot get day of week and then now we can output Oh, if I can type, we can now put day. Let's see what happens. I right, got normal, and it outprinted it uh, output Monday, which uh, I kind of wasn't expecting that because, you know, now it's not. It's called it's a day of the week, and we're not. It you know, it's a Java object, so we're not having to do like two string or something like that to output the actual day. Let's well, say we needed a reason to convert this uh, day of the week to a string. We could do, because we wanted to get like say, uh, maybe like the get display name. So did like get uh, display name equals then be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So basically what you already have right here, but make in case you needed it in this kind of a format. So we'll do string display name and then we'll do day dot get display name and display name takes two parameters it takes the text style and the uh, and the language spoken or, or the the whether you know you want English or Chinese or UK or whatever so the first thing is, is a text style we can do text style full, narrow, standalone. They've all got different meanings. We're going to just stick with full, which is, will give me just the whole thing. And then, of course, we want to do locale.english. And then we have our display name. And now we can output the display name. Boom. Now they're back out there to Monday. But I think it was all capitalized last time. So that's interesting. Nice to. It's a little difference there. All right, so with that out of the way, we can like I said, we can also do, let's say, get the year, which uh, I believe year is just year equals oh year, year equals local dot get oh nope local dot get year, and then we have to bring in the Java dot time dot uh, year utility. And we're going to import that class and oh it doesn't like it why not 
I provided an int and it wants a year. Oh, okay, so I didn't even need that at all. You just remove that. My mistake. So we just call this int year. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually no, those are fine right there. Alright, I'm just gonna uh, output year. And if we run this again, I'm trying to keep this short. It's only been five and a half minutes so far. So, and the year is 2020. That is absolutely correct. So, uh, hopefully, guys, you can take what you've learned here to get the month and get the days and get the seconds and the nanos and all that. You don't need to, you know, continue to uh, for me to show you like every little bit. But if you do, leave it in the comments. I'll absolutely make a video on as much thing I mean I've been thinking about building the calendar so think about that uh, that's gonna be coming up soon so hit that subscribe and that like button you know uh, and that bell icon if you want to you know stick around for some of that but for now let's continue on we're, we're gonna move on to the date time formatter so we're just gonna do format uh, date time formatter so in order to use the date time formatter, we're going to specify a pattern that the date time formatter then gets uh, input into the uh, local date, and then it'll output some the format that we want. All right, so it's pretty easy to do that. We do date time formatter, and then I'm just going to do DTF for date time formatter. No, not all that. Just to make it short. Equals well, date time formatter. So it's not like new date time format or anything like that. It's just date time format dot of pattern. And here's we're gonna pass it a string. So we could, you know, do like a string pattern here and specify it to YY Y M M D D. Or we could put that exact same thing right in there as well. But let's go ahead and just use what we got. And then what we can do now we can do uh, system dot out formatted date and we can do local dot format then we're going to pass it the pattern in which we want to and let's see how this goes And it formatted it correctly with the year, month, and then the day. Just how we wanted, just like that. And you could add some hyphens in here or some dashes or uh, slashes there. And you'll notice that it changes how that, how that uh, date is now uh, put out there. So say you also wanted to save this to a string so you want to do string formatted date equals you can also do it just like that as well and then run that and there we go. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to go over for this video. Hopefully, you guys learned something. It's a nice, uh, short, quick nine minute video. If you guys are struggling with something, hit me up in the uh, in the comments. See if I can help you out. Some of the stuff I said, I've gotten a question or two that uh, been a little bit over my head, but you know, I want to makes me think. You know, makes me want to become a, a better developer. Help answer those questions. Anyway, till the next time. Uh, I think about doing a. Uh, live stream uh, of just building a website, messing around with uh, with Bootstrap four uh, or uh, sorry five that just came out, or you know learning uh, new technology, messing around with Java, that kind of stuff. Uh, so if you guys would like to see that, uh, let me know in the comments. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And keep learning, keep coding.